What's up, YouTube? I just want to be in here a quick moment. Nice hair. <laughs> uh, you know, I was full of judgment at the house of God yesterday. I mean, it was just, it was out of nowhere. And, and I was like, what is going on, Lord? And uh, I was like, man, you know, how do you articulate things like this? And then within a moment, the Lord just came in and just turned everything. And I had uh, clicked alive because the Holy Ghost was just moving all over the place. People were rejoicing. And I'm feeling the Holy Ghost so strong. Um, my life didn't connect. And then I did a second video. I was able to get a, a portion of the uh, worship. And then I put it on a separate video. But... Uh, what else you know the scripture yesterday when when i was experiencing this in, at church you know you can if you if you got any discernment you'll know what i'm talking about or those gifts of the holy ghost everybody's got different gifts james 2 3 i found it there i was thinking mercy triumphs over judgment i know that was in the bible well i found james 2 13 is close to that for he shall have judgment without mercy, that hath shown no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. See, it's never God's will to judge us. He wants us to judge ourselves. And uh, it was just a wonderful, that, that's all I got for this video. Um, I just wanted to share that. Uh, is there anything else, Holy Ghost? Man, I'm feeling the Holy Ghost. <laughs> you know, this book, uh, the Lord showed me something about this year, 2022, and I put it in here. Um, and it had something to do with, I, I didn't plan on doing none of this, but things God's been showing me. He put it, there's just a bit of spirit of joy that fell on me just moments ago, and I'm like, what is going on? And uh, I don't even know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Matter of fact, I tried to do a live just now, and something's hindering me. And I was just in, uh, now my computer just went down. <laughs> oh my goodness, something's going on today. I was just going to show you something, and my computer just... It's, it's in Zechariah 3, 1, where it said Satan was standing at the right hand of Joshua to resist him or something. I just had it up, and the Holy Ghost was, I was going through that. I got to Zechariah 3, 9. This ain't going to make no sense. Jeez. And uh, what, what was it? I'm trying to try to find it right now. My goodness. You know, the enemy is working, and the God is working, and then it's it's back and forth. It's like, you know, tug of war. That's what I'm feeling right now, man. And uh, Just like at church yesterday, I was like, man, somebody really, with the Holy Ghost, and I'm like, God. And I just start pacing where I was in my seat, and I'm like, man, what is going on? And then, pfft, worship just broke out everywhere i was like what is happening it, it got and it, it, i ain't gonna say it but somebody i am not gonna say that Lord. it was just it was back and forth and even there at, at the uh talking about it up on this stage there where they talk with the microphone the song leader lady and because there was a there was something else going on at this time there was a I don't want to say there was a big distraction going on with a musical instrument in the pews. I don't want to say nothing else. But uh, and everybody knew it was from the enemy. And it was just all kind of stuff going on at the church. <laughs> it's, this is crazy, but I'm feeling joy on me right now. I'm like, this is weird, Lord. But this is cool. <laughs> We're... We're not supposed to understand everything, right? Hey, you just roll with it, right? You just roll with it. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day, hopefully, right? But uh, let's see. We're... 
yeah, uh, three nine of uh, Zechariah. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, upon one stone shall be seven eyes. And I read that. I'm like, man, that's like, I'm 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 thinking that's like the spirit of God. He's he's watching every area of our life. What's in your mind? What's in your heart? What's your intentions? What are you doing? You know what what you know. He's always, but I don't know. That's what I get from that. But this next part. Behold, uh, <clears throat> I will engrave the graving thereof, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day. What I experienced yesterday at church, I feel like, man, there's judgment in here. I'm like, boom, it just hit me. I was like, these knowing gifts, some of you got them. That's what I'm talking about. And then God, rem and then I just found this moments ago. I removed the iniquity of the land in one day. And then the book. I was like, man, you did, Lord, Lord, touch my shoulder. Listening to this dude, uh, he's some. He used to be apostolic. I don't know if he still is. I don't know. Mark something. He and he was talking about Freemasonry, and. Something about the capstone. And then he said 2022. When he said 2022, I felt the Lord go, what? <laughs> what? Well, it's in the book. I, I can't remember the details. I just wrote it down and forgot about it. I, I don't, I don't, well, I don't go on talk shows and talk about it. I just, you know, I, I got a life to live and, and things. I got to get myself to heaven. I can't. You know, I can't worry about all this stuff, but I just do what the Lord puts on me, and I forget about it usually, and that's it. But uh, so there's another seven weeks left in 2022, and has that and that that touch from the Holy Ghost. The dude was talking about Freemasonry in that year, and I think that year's on that capstone, the DC Oblesk thing, whatever, and. Uh, Oh, it, it touched, dawned on me just moments ago before I made a video that uh, that possibly is an internal thing in that Freemasonry. I don't know. Who knows what God's doing, right? But uh, unless you're like a very focused prophet that went through hell like Jeremiah, then you know what's going on. Possibly. I don't know. But, uh, um,. Yeah, matter of fact, I'll share this up here. Zechariah, in the beginning, Zechariah 3, and he showed me Joshua the high priest. This is verse 1. Standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Excuse me. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed in filthy garments, and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiments. I think this is an angel saying, I don't remember where the Lord, but... And I said, Let them set a fair mitire. I'm like... I don't want to go. That reminds me of Catholicism. Whatever. So they say, on his head, and clothed him with garments, and the angel of the Lord stood by. Verse 6, and the angel of the Lord protested in, unto Joshua, saying, here's the charge here to Joshua, if you're a Joshua. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, If thou wilt walk in my ways, and if you will keep my charge, then you shall also judge my house, and shall also keep my courts, and I will give you places to walk amongst these that stand by. Maybe that's angelic places. These that stand by. Angels, holy angels. That's a high place, man. This is, I'm just sharing stuff here. Verse 8, here now, O Joshua, the high priest, you and thy fellows shall sit before thee. 
for they are men wondered at. The, for they are men wondered at. For behold, I will bring forth my servant the branch. All capitals. I believe that's talking that prophecy about the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the branch. Um, that's all I got. Is there anything else, Holy Ghost? This is all kind of stuff going on. But, man, the thing at church, and then the Zechariah, what one was it? The nine I shared? Yeah. And then the mercy triumphs over judgment. Well, that scripture's gone. Computer went down. <laughs> but that's all I got. So, God bless. If you're not born again, biblically, X. Two is the pattern. Make sure you do that, believers, all believers, all believers, all believers. I was talking through text from with this prophet lady. She's got the Holy Ghost. And I said, in the text, I said, Obey the word of the Lord, capitals. And I put Acts 19.5. It's Paul. If you, if you don't know that scripture, he go, he said, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. See, everybody's understanding is different, and everybody's upbringing is different. And she responded, said, oh, yes, get baptized. See, you know when they don't have any understanding. Oh, it's an outward sign of uh, inward, right? That non-biblical thing they all do. Some of you know what I'm talking about. And then I, I gave her a little dissertation. I said, hey, pff, no. this part of getting born again over water. John Baptist preached this. His name, Baptist, John. Forerunning the new birth. So, long story short, most some of you know, um, Pentecost is that pattern from John 3, 5 that all believers must do. Jesus said, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You will not see the kingdom of heaven unless you do that. Okay? Yeah, God bless you. That's all.